Magandang gabi sa inyo, homeschoolers. Kamusta na po kayo dyan? Hi, alam nyo ba na 78 days na tayong quarantine? Uh, I know G GCQ na ngayon, ano? Lumabas na ba kayo ng bahay? Okay. Tino ka nga yung mga responses nyo. Hi, Del. Hi, Janina. Hi, Ruth. Hello. Hello, Ate Ruth. Kamusta na po? Hi, Beverly. Hi, Ethel. Hi, Lulu Sana. Hi, JJ. Kamusta? Hello. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Grabe, sobrang bilis ng panahon. Pero, as of now, kahit na nag-GCQ, ah, may pasok na ang gobyerno sa inyo. Oh, wow. So, pumasok ko na. So, how is it? Well, ako hindi pa lumalabas ever since sa GCQ. So, <laughs> hindi ko alam kung mas safe ba lumabas at this time. Hi, Rial Kasim. Hello, good evening. Hi, Jesse. Hello, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po for always gracing our, you know, our show every Tuesdays and Fridays. Hi, Vivian. Ah, oh, you're watching from Palawan. Hello. Good evening. Thank you so much. Del, thank you so much. Are you keep on tagging a lot of people? Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. Well, before we start, alam niyo naman, lagi ako nagsasabi ng disclaimer. Kasi syempre, when I post, and then separate post naman po ang mga videos natin, especially when you put in YouTube, I want to remind lang the audience that uh, we're making contents here because we know that God has told us to make these contents not for you to imitate, but hopefully uh, just put a, uh, a seed in your hearts so that maybe makakatulong po sa inyo ito pero we, we are not telling the message na hey gayahin niyo po kami at ito po yung solusyon niyo sa buhay niyo so we're not saying that but we are here to make great contents for you so that we can be able to educate empower equip and encourage each and every one of you especially in these times because we believe that this is the time to help one another so whatever we can whatever that we have we could be able to really be, you know, as a means of a blessing to you guys. And sa totoo lang, even though I'm doing all of these interviews, it's been a blessing and refreshing for me to interview all of these guests of mine for the past two months because I'm also learning from them as well. So, sobra akong natutuwa. Hindi lang po, siguro kayo sinasabi nyo, oh, Ate Novi, nakakatuwa po lahat ng inyong mga contents, but I'm also blessed with all the guests who's giving also their time for doing this. And I'm also learning as well. Hi, Letty. Hi, Janine again. Hi, honey. Anna. Hanilin, hello. Nacho. Okay. Um, sabi ni Ethel, mahirap nakakatako pero kailangan public service. Oh, yes. Totoo yun. Hi, Natalio. Hi, Stephanie. May stock na ba ng book, please? Oh, Stephanie. No. Ano ba yung tinatanong mong book? Is, there, is it my book? Okay. Okay. So dahil alam kong uh, sobrang precious ang time ng ating guests, okay? And I really want to, you know, learn from her as well. And I want to hear how God transformed her life in through this journey. And later, I'm gonna tell you the twist as well. I'm so excited to introduce our guests. Um, Madam Amor Rebebis, she's a mom to Moses. And presently, he's grade 7 now. And he's been homeschooling since 2012. So, nine years na po siya nag-homeschool. She is presently, uh, her job, uh, she's presently doing her job as an admin support to small businesses in Australia and New Zealand. So, let us welcome Miss Amor Rebebis. Thank you, Amor. Hello. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for oh, my pleasure. For this. I know it's not not an easy uh, story to tell, but you're here and you're brave enough for us to be able to convey your story for us right now. Okay, wait lang, ha. Sorry. I have to exit. 
Dahil yung electric pang ko, pumupunta sa pa ako. <laughs> okay lang. Okay lang. Tayo dito. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, good morning, this guy. You can say hi to the to our guests here if you want. Hello. Yeah. I'm excited to share our journey together. Oh, <laughs> ma. Sabi ko nga kay ano, kay Amor, para lang tayo na sa Starbucks ng kukwentuhan. And then our guests will just, you know, so please, audience, no, if you have questions, please, this is the time for us to tell your story. Okay, meron ba kayo nakikip, narinig na parang echo? Guess? Ako wala. Sila, I don't know. Okay. Clear naman. Okay. That's good. Okay. I just want to, ano, before we start, no, kakaiba lang po itong ating gagawin kasi siguro iniisip nila may asawa ka, amor. No, I just want to tell this. I just want to tell, si Amor po, single po siya, talagang single siya until today. But by the grace of God, God talked to her and be able to adopt his child, which is, ang pangalan po niya ay si Moses. And Moses is so blessed to have her. Okay. Alam mo, parang may narilinig ako pa rin. May narilinig ka? Ako wala na. May echo daw. I don't know. Ang kaya yun? Sige, we'll check out. So, pa, 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 pa. Ayan. May echo pa ba? May narinig ka pa ba yung echo? May nakabukas ba tayong phone, Amor? No, tinago ko na. <laughs> Oo nga. Wala rin naman ako nakabukas na phone. Saan kaya lumalabas yung echo? <laughs> Uh, may echo daw, sabi ni Stephanie. Oo nga, may echo daw. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, there. Meron pa ba? Para tayo sa radio. <laughs> There's an echo in the background. Oo oh, ngayon, meron pa po? Meron pa daw. Sige, let's check. Um, may tag is... Echo Maybe we have the refresh. Hazel, meron pa ba? There. Wala na po. Ayan. Ang ganda. Wala na, wala na. Okay. Baka po loudspeaker po kayo. Ay, hindi naman. Ang galing na interaction natin. Ano? Okay lang, sagaan natin to. Thank you so much, mga gayo. Nakakatuwa naman po. Masyado bang malak malakas yung ano? Yung parang echo? Meron nga eh. You hear it? Yeah, I can still hear, hear it now. But I'm trying to wait ha. Be patient with us. Thank you for being patient, guys. Okay. So parang wala na. Wala na, meron pa po. Okay. Okay. So, go, siguro para fini-fix mo na namin lahat ng technicalities. So, okay na ba, Amor, ang iyong ano? Ang iyong earphones? Mas better. Okay. No more na po. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's start the ball rolling. Okay. So, likewise, what I told you a while ago, si Amor po, Wala po siyang asawa, okay? Wala po siyang asawa at grabe lang how God really transformed her heart to be able to foster Moses. And she's gonna tell to us her beautiful story. So, paano nag-start to Amor? Can you tell us with all this adoption? Well, okay. Well, for adopting Moses, I got him when he was a month old. Um, it was never planned. Um, it's something just happened. Um, so eventually, um, nung inadapt ko siya, one month siya, so umalis ako sa bahay, single ako, umuwi ako ng bahay, may baby na ako. <laughs> That's the gist of the story. Um, but if they want to know more, meron akong interview in by sa Roy Foundation um, Facebook page, the whole story of my, the adoption story of Moses is there. 
But basically, it's that um, I've been a mom since um, Moses was a month old. Yeah. Okay. And I prepared. Nakatuwa lang ano, kasi how how did you how did you choose Moses? Ano yung proseso nung? Um, it was not actually. Hindi ko talaga siya napili per se because what happened was. Na, um, Moses' a, a birth mother was um, decided already na i-give up si Moses after a month. And there was someone who's supposed to adopt him. Pero, hmm. hindi na tuloy because the person who's going to adopt him, nabuntis siya within that ano, month then, no time na i-give up si Moses. So what happened, ang ginawa nila, they were frantically looking for someone to adopt him. Tama-tama yung mom ko, nandun sa lugar kung saan iiwan yung anak ko, si Moses. Um, tapos tinawag ako ng mom ko, tapos sumunod ako sa kanya, sabi niya magmamanicure, pedicure lang daw kami. Tapos pagdating ko doon, sabi ng mama ko, oh, we have, ano, tingnan natin yung bata doon, iniwan daw, let's see. Tapos sabi ko, wag na, wag na natin tingnan. Ano, alis na tayo. Pero, ay, so pumunta yung mom ko, so syempre, sumunod naman ako. So, while we were walking, going to Moses, sinabihan kami ng caretaker na Moses daw haven't slept since that morning. Nakatulala lang siya, tulala lang siya. And hindi siya masyadong nag-drink ng milk. Um, napanis na nga yata yung milk na iniwan sa kanya. Tapos, um, hindi rin siya natutulog. So, nung dumating kami doon, he was on top of a makeshift na table. Nandun lang siya sa table, tapos naka, nakatulala siya. So, naawa naman ako, nakabag ako. So, I carried him. Tapos, nung pagkakarga ko sa kanya, natulog siya. So, yun na. My heart was gripped. And I never let go since then. Oh wow! Now, to be honest, were you scared? I mean, um, by deciding on that, siempre it's not that easy. Oh yes. Um, so immediately, like, you made decision. Oh, 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 immediately that was my decision. So, sabi ko sa mom ko, let's let's go to the hospital, let's bring him there, and let's see. Pero nagdecide na ako, eh, na ko na siya. Siguro nag-sink in sa akin yung gravity of the whole thing, the motherhood thing, mga two months after, mga ganon. Kasi isang beses, iyak siya na iyak, hindi ko siya mapatahan. You know, parents, uh, if you're a mom, diba, pag before giving birth, you have nine months to prepare emotionally, mentally, ganyan. Sa akin, wala talaga akong support na, alam mo yun, parang I, didn't able, I was not able to psych up myself on that. So, sabi ko, nung niiyak siya, sabi ko, ano bang gagawin ko dito? That's the first time actually I prayed to God. Na, doon ko naintindihan yung gravity nung ginawa ko na, oh wow, somebody's really dependent on me. I I am responsible for this person. And I want to do good. I want to be a good mom for this. So I prayed, I asked God, how can I do this? So doon na rin nagtuloy-tuloy yung journey ko as a believer of Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Alam mo, pinipigilan ko lang hindi umiyak ka. <laughs> kasi naiiyak na ako. Kasi when, when you were selling that you saw him and then you embrace him and that's it, no? Nakakatuwa mo. Yeah. No? You're very brave. Thank you for, you know, sharing this to us. I know it's not always a story that you always hear. But you, you yeah. decided to do that. And Moses is so blessed to have you. Moses yeah, so um... Yes, but also it's become a blessing to me as well. It's actually, I, I really felt that, you know, siya talaga yung, you know, he was the reason why I sought for God. Um, you know, God used him in so many ways na talagang, grabe, kaya sabi ko talaga, my son is a blessing to me. And every day I tell that to him na talaga he's a blessing, he's a gift from heaven. And kung wala siya, hindi ko din alam kung ginagawa ko ngayon. <laughs> okay. I just want to ask, no? Siyempre, nung nagawa mo yun, then you decided. And ano sinabi ng mommy mo? Oh, oh my friend. mom didn't like it at first, siyempre. Kasi um, whether we like it or not, there's a stigma for single moms in our society. No, talaga. Yeah. It's yeah. So my oh. mom said na uh, ayaw niya. What she wants sana is sa papers, siya yung lalabas na mom. Then I can take care of him. Pero it didn't felt it didn't feel right. Parang sabi ko, 
um, nung una, parang kinoconsider ko siya. Nasabi ko, sige, tingnan natin, baka pwede naman si mama yung maging ano. Tapos ako nalang mag-alaga. Pero hindi ko naramdaman na ganun. Sabi ko kay mama, um, hindi ako nalang talaga. I'll, 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 I'll take over on this one. I'll take responsibility for most of this. Uh, so, yun. So, mom, my mom, she's very nice and patient too. <laughs> With me also in teaching me how to do this, these things, no? yung mga practical things, so para paliguan, kasi dumating siya a month, eh. so hindi ako masyadong marunong magpaligo ng bata. May mga kapatid ako nakakabata sa akin, pero hindi naman ako naging in charge dun sa um, unang pag-aalaga sa kanya. So, sa kanila, I mean. So, tinuroan ako ni mama, tapos, um, also, during those, nung whole process na yun, kaya din siguro naging madali din sa akin na kunin si Moses. Um, aside from my mom, yung mga kapatid ko din naman tumutulong in taking care of him. Kasi that time, I was working also. Sa BPO pa ako nag-work noon, so night shift ako. So it was difficult. So, kasi syempre, hindi mo naman pinlano. It was really a drastic change. And very. the process is you always have to explain yourself. Diba? Um, so, ano ko na? <laughs> diba? Pero, wow, you're so brave. You're so brave. But I like what Anna said in one of her comments. Like, Moses grew not in the tummy, but in your heart. Mm. And I totally agree with her. Thank you, Anna, for making that comment. Thank you, thank you. But because we're talking about homeschooling, yes. you know, um, yun yung challenge, eh. yun yung laging question din sa akin, sa lahat ng, actually, madami na akong in-invite, Amor, actually, I have to be honest. Uh-huh. Lagi naman ako <laughs> dito sa ano. Ayaw nila, ayaw nilang gawin tong interview na to. Because they're having a difficult time. So, so I really appreciate you for being here. Thank you for just doing this. And I know that you're gonna be really a blessing to others as well. Not only for the single parents or the solo parents, but also to me. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank so, you. we're going to homeschooling now. So, yeah. how did you discover homeschooling. Okay, homeschooling talaga na discover ko sa church. Meron ako small group friends na um, they were doing it. So, nung una nagtatanong-tanong lang ako, how was it? Pero I'm really not interested. I was just curious how they're doing it and why they're doing it. So, ang ganda ng kwento-kwento lang. And then um na curious ako, ginugol ko. <laughs> I googled it and then um, there were so many stories na um, ng mga parents, pero wala masyado sa Philippines. May mga konti na nag-YouTube about this, pero not as active right now, ha? Hindi kagaya ng mga 8 years ago na um, ano, konti lang. Anyway, so doon, hanggang sa nagtanong ako, nag-research ako, and then ang una ko talaga naging concerned because I'm a single mom, yung cost, yung cost ng regular school. At that time, nag inquire ako. It was very expensive. And since I'm a single mom, 9 years ago, di ba? 2012 eh. Oh. Eight. Tama, eight. Eight. <laughs> Oo. Okay. Eight. Yeah, sorry. Oo, eight. It's okay. Tapos ano, um nung time na 'yon, um naghahanap ako ng school for Moses. Ang namamahalan ako, plus I didn't like the the whole setup ng mga regular schools na within the vicinity. And I wanted to, to I for Moses to study sana malapit lang sa amin para hindi din ako mahirapan to take him there, ganyan. Hanggang sa my friends in um, small group and encouraged nila ako to do that. But before diving in, I, I researched on it and then nakita ko din yung benefits niya. Pero mainly before at that time, my decision was based on finances. It's because for me, it was cheaper. But along the way, when I'm doing it na, nakita ko yung benefits niya, nakita ko din yung benefits sa ibang children na nakakasalamuha ko, yung mga, yung mga home, other homeschool kids na na nakakausap ko. So sabi ko, ah, itutuloy-tuloy ko na to. All the way hanggang, <laughs> hanggang kaya ko. Pero in my mind, gusto ko sana hanggang grade 12. Pero, you know, we'll see. We decided by the year. We, we evaluate, we see, and I'll go from there. So si Moses, from the very start mo ba siya hinom school? Um, nung, yung nagkaroon siya ng one year sa regular school, uh, preparatory. Tapos, grade 1, hanggang ngayon, naka-regulars. Ay, naka-homeschool. Okay. 
Now, yun nga yung tanong nila eh. Yun lagi, can a single parent ba talaga can do homeschool, <laughs> Amor? Um, yes, they can. It will not be easy. Pero doable. Pwede siya. Pwede siyang gawin. Lalo na if you're really decided to do it for a higher purpose. Yung wag lang na, not just the academics. Kasi for me, um, as I went through this homeschooling journey and also dun sa journey ko with Jesus, na-realize ko how important it is to disciple the next generation because the next generation matters to God. So sabi ko, you know what, the best way for me to disciple my son is if I homeschool him. So yun talaga yung naging um, turning point ko on why I decided to stay on this course. Oh, wow. So, nung pinili mo to, did you have like a certain time? How, kasi okay, I think, Maybe the question would be like your time management. How do you go about with that? Siyempre, you're a single okay. parent. And then you're working, di ba? So how do you go about with that? Well, um, siguro na, ang, 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 usually kasi the parents would think na, kasi di ba, when, 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 when their kids are in school, they spend like half day sa school. And then iniisip nila na they might spend the same time when they're at home, na ganun din yung araw, ay yung oras na i-spend nila habang nag-homeschool sila. But actually, during the first three years of Moses, grade 1, 2, and 3, hindi naman ganun katagal yung time na nilalaan ko sa kanya. Um, dahil one-on-one yung turo namin, hindi, I don't spend that much time na kagaya. Sa school kasi, kaya they have to have like one hour per subject or 40 minutes per subject. Kasi marami sila. Usually, 1 is to 20, 1 is to 30. So, mahirap nga naman for the teacher to do that. So, pero dahil one-on-one kayo, you know, one subject, you can finish that in 20 minutes. Depende sa pacing ninyo, depende sa pinag-aaralan ng bata. Uh, so, for me, the time, it's not difficult during the first um, few years of the kids. Uh, so, grade 1, 2, and 3. Uh, mga, ang, ang average time na naaalala ko with Moses was 2 to 3 hours a day. Uh, minsan nga, four times a week lang kami. Tapos, um, four times a week lang kami, or minsan alternate, depende sa magiging schedule ko for that week. Tapos, uh, so yun yung ginagawa ko. So, hindi siya ganun kahirap talaga. So, if the parent is working, pwede niyang gawin after school, pwede niyang, pwede niyang gawin yun, ay after her work. <laughs> pwede niyang gawin, sa bata yung magturo pa siya ng mga 2 to 3 hours. Plus, they can also leave things that the child can do. Para yeah. pagdating nyo, pwede oh. din ninyong pag-usapan yun. O, oh, ano yung binasa mo today? Ano yung natutunan mo today? Can you tell mommy about it? Para mag-gauge mo din. So, if the child is having a hard time, eh di doon ka na lang pumasok. But if the child was able to get and understand it, then, di ba, you don't spend much time on it. Yun lang yung sakin. Give us can you give us a picture of how is it like yung routine mo in a day? Within? Noon or now? <laughs> Kasi sobrang iba-iba nga yun. Oh, siguro noon, sige. Noon. Yung noon, because I was in a BPO, um, I worked night shift. So pag umaga, pag uwi ko, gising na yung anak ko. So madalas ginagawa ko in the morning. Uh, mag-aaral kami ng umaga. Tapos um, after niya mag-aaral, kakain lang ko, matutulog na Tapos, the whole day, he can do whatever he wants. Pero no gadget. Kasi, ano, yeah. na kung fan ng gadget. Just, just that's just me. Oh, that's good naman. That's good. Pero now, ano yung routine niya? Now, ang routine naman, because I work at home, thankfully, since 2014, I started working at home. Oh. So, ang nangyayari, nung una, ang mistake ko was, pressure ko siya, he has to wake up early, ganyan, oh, we have to do this, list, this, list, and then, ano, kasi may time na ako, feeling ko, ano na, bonggang-bongga na yung time ko with, with academics. Hanggang sa na-realize ko na, teka lang, why am I pressuring him too much with schedule, schedule, schedule? So, what I did is, um, muna, teenager na siya, so, uh, nabasa ko na kailangan daw nila ng mahabang tulog, so, hinahayaan ko na siyang matulog. And then, what I do, I wake up early, I do my devotions, and then um, I prepare food. Pag tinamad ako magluto, yung anak ko yung magluluto pag ising niya. Tapos, wow. <laughs> tinuro ako, mahilig naman niya eh. Oh, galing. 
And then, magde-devotion siya pag, ay, mag-extra session ng umaga, tapos magde-devotion siya. Then, we'll eat lunch. Kasi magigising siya ng mga 9, 10, gano'n. Um, devotion time yan, it, it takes an hour. Tapos, kakain kami. And then, afternoon, I'm done with work. So, I'll stay with him. Ngayon na he's older, napansin ko na, um, although hindi ko naman siya tinututukan ng tutok na tutok, pero, um, what we do is that, I let him study on his own. Kaya lang, kaya lang mas matagal na yung time niya ngayon. Kasi grade 7 na. So, we usually study like 4 to 6 hours a day. Yun na yung routine niya. So, mula, mula mga 1 o'clock hanggang around 6, he'll, he'll do his thing. Um, I'm not totally with him the whole time. Kasi may mga subjects siya na he can do it on his own. Yung mga favorite subjects na kaya niya na yun. Pag, pag mga alam ko na hindi niya gusto or may tendency siya na iskipan niya, i-skim through lang niya, I'll stay with him. So, yun yung ginagawa namin. And then, by the time he's done, magluluto na. Ako o siya. Depende kung sino. Wow, ako. ang galing. Kasi na 13 years old na siya. Nakakatuwa naman. But, Nahilig niya rin, thank God. Oo, oh, ang galing. Pero, kasi alam mo, I still remember nga, no, I realized nga that Moses was also the, the ballet mate of destiny, yung bunso kong anak. So, na-realize ko nga, ano may parang familiar sa akin to. Kasi <laughs> nakikita ko, kasi was, sobra akong ano, sobra akong natutuwa. Kasi during the ballet class, I think that's, mauna ka muna eh, di ba, yung batch mo. Mm-hmm. Bago yung kay Destiny, kasi mas matanda si Destiny. Pero natutuwa ako sa kanya kasi he's so confident and he's the only boy there. That's why he's yes. brave and confident about it. Nakakatuwa. So, Yung anak ni Amor, ballet dancer yan. So, <laughs> hopefully sana pala ginawa natin yung video with Moses, no? But anyway. It's okay. I just want to ask, kasi a while ago, you were, the first reason why you did homeschool is because of affordability or what we call yung expense, yung budget. So, can yeah. because a lot of people, I mean, listening right now, especially sig- siguro may mga single parents dyan. So, paano mo nagawa yun? Yung expense, how do you budget? Okay, sa budgeting, number one talaga is we have to be very uh, deliberate in managing our finances well. Lalo na as a single parent, kailangan conscious na conscious on where you put your money. Kasi if you don't plan kung saan pupunta yung pera mo, mawawala na lang siya basta. So number one, budgeting, how do I budget? Um... I lessen my expenses as much as possible kasi um, hindi, so kung hindi naman siya necessarily need, hindi ko naman din um, bibilhin. Tapos at the same time, I have to be creative also on how to um, get things. Like alam mo ba na <laughs> ay hanggang ngayon 80% ng books na meron yung anak ko are uh, bigay sa akin ng mga homeschoolers na nauna na sa amin. Uh, or binenta sa amin na very cheap rate, like mga 25% na lang yung babayaran ko, parang gano'n. And yung books talagang maayos pa, yung iba hineram ko, tapos ibabalik ko na lang din, yung mga gano'n. So I have to be creative with that kasi I cannot just buy everything. Kapag binili ko lahat, sayang naman if meron namang willing to share. So seek support also, it's very important to seek support kapag may mga kailangan ka. Kasi ako naging very open din naman ako sa mga homeschool friends. Yung mga homeschool mommies, I ask them, do you have this? Can I borrow this? Pwede ba kung ano? Or if they don't have it, meron ba kayong kilala na I could um, borrow this kind of book? Yung mga ganon. So, so yun. Nagkaroon kami ng support. Tapos maganda rin siguro to join um, Facebook um groups for homeschoolers. Maraming maraming ganun ngayon, di ba? So, um, you can also get connections from there. Marami din nagbebenta. May marketplace na nga yung homeschoolers, di ba? Nakita ko sa Facebook, may marketplace na and they sell it at a very cheap rate, yung mga books and resources. So, 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 so budgeting yun. And then, at the same time, I have to be very wise kung saan ko siya i-enroll. Kasi, um, ayoko naman magbayad ng malaki because I'm a single mom, ayoko magbayad ng malaki pagdating sa accreditation. So, naghanap talaga ako ng school na papay- papasok doon sa budget na kaya ko. Kasi ayoko din naman mag-enroll tapos super expensive and then it would enslave me naman na I have to work, work, work kasi ano, kailangan kong bayaran doon, doon, doon. Ayoko naman maging ganun. So, there. 
Yeah, I totally agree. Kasi whether single parent ka at hindi ka single parent, I mean, talagang it, the bottom line is ikaw na mamagigage kung talagang expensive ang homeschool or not. Eh. So, depende talaga yun sa magulang. Hindi, yes. Kasi kung sabi nila, expensive ang homeschool, actually, hindi talaga. Hindi talaga expensive. Siguro, so, one day, I'm gonna make a a, ano, a content about the cost of homeschooling. So, abangan po natin yan. Regarding oh, yeah. That. that would be nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, I'm just gonna ask, no? Kasi, with all of this, um, yung provider mo, so, parang now, are you under a provider or a local provider or you are independent homeschooler? How do you how do you define yourself on that level? Um, kasi ang I'm I'm, I'm, uh, I'm with Home Life Academy. So pag nasa Philippines ka, they call it independent kasi nga you're enrolled outside um, the Philippine uh, the DepEd curriculum uh, accreditation ganyan. Pero Para sa akin, hindi pa siya independent per se kasi diba, you have to report it to someone. Pero it's outside. It's Home Life Academy. And the reason why I chose Home Life is that it's cheaper compared to the other providers that um, we have here. So yun lang talaga yung reason ko why I made them. Um, so we, I pay $100 a year for <laughs> with them. Pero yung first year, we have to pay $50 more. First year lang. And then after that, uh, 130, 100, 100 to 130. Depende kung kailan ka mag enroll Kasi may discount sila pag you enroll early. Okay. So, kanina nga diniscuss ko sa'yo. So, you don't have a local provider. So, yes. are, are you not worried about accreditation? Um, No, I'm not. Kasi nung una, um, nag-decide na talaga ako from the very beginning that I'll homeschool my son. Um, hanggat kaya ko. All the way, kung kaya ko hanggang grade 12, I'll do it. Um, kasi, kaya yung accreditation, iniisip ko, I don't know, I'll think about it when, when he's going to transfer to another school. But I don't think it would be an issue kasi we have validation tests from DepEd. So if they want that, then they could, he could Moses could take that. Um, but it's not an issue for me. Yeah. I like what you said kasi you were able to choose what's best for your family. So, I, I just want to ano lang, repeat that na we cannot have ayun nung parang sinasabi nating accreditation fear na you think pag nagturo ka hindi mababalidate yung tinuro mo at feeling mo na yung takot mo bilang magulang na oh baka hindi mabalidate yung anak ko so parang feeling ko hindi siya pupunta sa another level. Yes. So so I just want to ano lang no encourage parents here no na hindi dapat ganun. So you will see this perspective about Amor. She's She's confident about her decision. And I'm so admire for her for that. It's not about the accreditation, eh, but it's really about her heart to teach her child. And that's her budget, and this is how she goes. <laughs> so you have to consider that on that level, and you need to be confident with that decision because that works for her. So my question to you here, the audience, what works for you? Okay. So you went... Yeah, you, you went to that level na, syempre, hindi mo na magpipilitin ako kasi nagpunta si ganyan sa ganto at nagpunta si ganyan sa ganto So, ganto na lang so that I'll feel safe. Hindi yun na, yun na naging decision mo. Eh. This is, no. that's what I like with how you, you were able to choose the type of homeschooling that you want to be. So, my question is, siguro, do you have ano ba? Do you have like a type of method that you choose? Actually, I, ano, I adapt a little bit of everything. Tapos, okay. naging homeschooler ako for a moment. Kasi, oh. that's what I see na nag-work sa amin at sa anak ko. Um, sa kanyang learning style. Uh, one of the things that we did um, is we traveled for like three months sa Mindanao. Oh. Oh. Was, for, wala kaming academic um, anything. Wala kaming academic lessons that time. Ang dala lang, ang dala ko lang. May dala ko dalawang books actually na science. Yung gusto lang niya, yung gusto yung book. And then, um, his devotion books. And then that's it. Tapos notebook pang drawing na if, if, if it gets inspired. And so wala talaga akong masasabi na, oh, this is my style na Arturo. I, I base it on a yearly basis. Parang um, this year, ano bang gusto naming matutunan? So I, nung tumanda na yung anak ko, 
uh, mas na-involved siya sa homeschool journey namin. Parang, oh, anak, what do you want to learn this year? Uh, what are the things that, ano, um, that you would want to do? Uh, may time kami na he wants to do soccer, tapos gusto niya matuto mag-swimming. So we were able to do that. Um, we were able to make it work for him. Tapos at the same time, because plinano namin from the very beginning na, mami, ito yung mga gusto kong gawin. So I was able to budget for that as well. Kasi yeah. for me, it's very important talaga that you plan your school year para That's hindi good. naman nasasayang yung araw ninyo kung saan ka ba, ano naman gagawin ko ngayong araw natin. Hindi pwedeng based yeah. lang sa feelings natin. Kasi pag based lang sa feelings natin, parang ako tinatamad ka araw-araw. <laughs> Paano yeah. natin? So, planning, I guess, very important. You don't need to be tedious naman sa plans na, ah, 7 o'clock na ito gagawin ko, 8 o'clock na ito gagawin ko. Yeah. It's more of, um, you go from the macro perspective and then you go down from there. Oh, you want to learn yeah. swimming, when do you want to do it? Siyempre, hindi natin gagawin yun ng December kasi malamig. <laughs> so, bandang yun na kami. <laughs> mga, mga, Ju, ano, mga July, August, ginagawa namin yung September. Tapos, para pagmulan ulan di okay lang, pero hindi naman ganong alamigan. Ayaw din namin ng summer because there are so many kids who are enrolling pag ganong panahon. So, um, tas, tas nakatipid ako because I'm enrolling him sa group na um, rate, pero dahil wala namang ibang nag -e enroll kami lang tao. <laughs> So, parang solo na rin yung anak ko. At ang oh, galing. Yeah, so, 10 sessions siya lang ang estudyante. Ang so, galing yun. Ano yun? Ano <laughs> sa la, sa Bert, Bert Lozada. Wow, oh, okay. Dahil wala siyang kasabay. So, saya-saya ko. Pero ang grade ko, super <laughs> group. Oh, focus, no? Naging focus sa kanya. Ang galing naman nun. Yes, yeah, so, so, you will have to plan. Yeah, ang galing lang how God has guided you din. So, you have a plan, but you don't pressure yourself with the plan, and you're still flexible on that end because you base, uh, you base your schedule on what works for you on a daily basis. You don't decide na parang pressure yourself. Ay, ganito dapat yung plan. That's really good. That's uh -huh. really good. So, um, ang question ko, so e eclectic ka, you have the little bit of everything. Kung baga na try mo lahat, no? What yeah. works for you. So, it progress on that end habang tumatanda din si Moses. So, yes. on your end, ito naman tanong ko about socialization. How is it with Moses? Um, again, that's a myth, ha? <laughs> Oo nga, <laughs> diba? <laughs> it's not true. Kasi, again, the kids will see the parent. Parang, paano ba yung mami ko makipag-usap? Paano ba siya uh, makipag-usap sa mga tao? And then, yun din naman yung i-adapt ng bata. So what I do is that, um, aside from the usual, kasi we have church, we have the, some, uh, pag nag-enroll siya sa soccer, syempre may makakasalamuha siya doon. But on top of that, I make sure that I bring him along even sa errands ko, like sa grocery, uh, sa bangko. Minsan, tinuroan ko siya sa banking kasi um, para lang, matuto siya makipag-interact sa teller, paano ba to? Para hindi ka naman na-intimidate. Kasi naalala ko nung bata, ako takot na takot ako sa ATM, tsaka sa teller. So, as early as possible, parang in ko si Moses to, this is how you talk to them, ito yung mga kailangan mo sabihin kapag ito yung gagawin mo. So, so that, yeah, tinuro ko sa kanya yun. Sa restaurants, parang if you need something, edi ikaw kumausap dun sa tao. If you want to order something, then talk to the waiter. Yung mga ganun. So, I think, um, ang biggest influence pagdating sa socialization, parent. Parent and the other adults around him. I totally agree with you. Kasi ang mga anak natin, hindi sila nakabox eh. Sa isang type of group lang. Kung baga, lahat ng klaseng group. Like, from baby, of how to take care of a baby, until, syempre, mga kadidad natin at mas nakakatanda sa atin. That's the beauty of homeschooling. And it's really a myth na laging-laging issue niya gawin, especially with you, no? Kasi only child siya. So, yes. maybe there's a challenge for you to be able to be creative on how to go about ah. with your lessons because mag-isa lang siya. Actually, parang feeling ko mas, mas challenging yung isang anak kaysa sa madaming anak to be creative. How do you do that? Honestly, hindi ko ganun ka-creative. May mga iba kong parents na nakikita Um, on how they do it. 
So, what I do is I ask questions. Kapag napansin ko na nahihirapan akong ituloy yung certain subject or nahihirapan akong mag-connect sa anak ko kapag meron kaming pinag-uusapan. So, I ask other parents. Kasi, syempre, may mga nauna naman sa akin na na mas maraming alam. So, it's good to have um, people who can guide and give you wisdom. Saka reading books. Also, maraming mga vloggers, ha? So, you can read, you can also watch vloggers, how they do it, and um, yung mga ganon. So, sa akin, just keep on learning uh, as a parent. Saka pa bago-bago siya, kasi this might work for a certain age and level, and then a few years after, hindi na siya mag-work. So, you have to keep on reinventing things by learning to, from others. Yeah. So, ako lang, I just want, have you talked to Moses about his, ano, alam ba niya? I'm sure I alam niya. Oh, alam. How did you tell it to him? I'm just curious. <laughs> Nalaman niya, okay. nung bata pa siya, when he was younger, sinabi ko na sa kanya yung word na adoption, adopted, para lang, because my mother's side is a very big family, so alam ko, one day. <laughs> maririnig niya yon yung salitang yon so ayaw ko na marinig niya sa iba and so i made him uh, i dumating yung time when he was a toddler sabi ko sa kanya oh you introduce yourself pa hi i'm moses i'm adopted so para alam lang niya although i i know that he didn't know yet the meaning of that word at least lang he keeps on hearing it and then when he was older that's so kapag na sinabi sa kanya and then ang isa pa sa mga naging style ko was um telling his story sa bedtime niya kung paano ko siya nakuha, paano oh. ko, ano yung nangyari. Oh. So, dun, dun ko kwento na kwento. Hanggang sa memorize na niya, you know, when you ask him, alam na alam niya na yung story niya. So, naiinis na nga siya. And I have to be creative also when he was younger. Minsan gagawin kong character, bunny, turtle, kahit sino na lang. Kakatuwa <laughs> <laughs> ka naman, Amor. Kasi, I love all what you're sharing. It's very realistic. And, alam mo yon yung feeling siguro nila parang ito idea ko, ganto Pero that's it eh. Yung grace ni God, evident sa buhay mo. And thank you for sharing that. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you talaga. Oh. If you're gonna ano, encapsulate everything what you have learned by adapting Moses and doing homeschool, mm. can you tell us like last words? Sa akin, um, I think number one is Um, sa akin siguro what, would, what I learned is yung values namin, kung ano yung value ko binavalue ko, at saka yung gusto kong i-value din ni Moses sa, sa future niya and, and that's, for me, it's honoring God talaga um, it's, been a, it's been my desire for him to grow up knowing God, experiencing him, hindi lang yung, ano, ha, yung academically knowing our Lord but talagang having a, a, a good experience with our Heavenly Father. And it is really true on what, uh, what the Bible says on uh, God is the Father of the Fatherless. Nakita ko on how God moved in Moses' life. Um, so that's one thing na talagang um, tinuro din sa akin ni God na you have to make me known to Him. And you know, in everything, there is a purpose, no? So, kaya, so that's one. And then second is that on the practical side, ang natutunan ko is you have to be physically healthy. <laughs> Kasi pag homeschooling mom ka, you tend to um, get overwhelmed. Kasi may work ka, meron kang household chores, and then you have to facilitate the learning of your child. Um, you have to be physically healthy. Ako, hindi ako ganun ka, hindi ako ganun ka, mahilig mag-exercise noon. But now, na-realize ko na, di ba pag mag-exercise ka, di ba, you have healthy, you have happy hormones. So, napansin ko na when we homeschool, when I interact with him, it, I feel better. And then, hindi rin ako yung, I, hindi ako um, drained. Ganon. So, be healthy, physically healthy. And rest. There should be rest. Wag naman natin i-focus yung life natin sa academics because, Yes, it is very important, but there's more to life than that. Uh, meron, we, we, uh, more than academics, we have our relationship with our child, di ba? Um, let's spend time with them. Meron lang tayong maliit na maliit na window with our child, eh, with our children. So, mas maganda kung ano, kung maganda yung memories na maaalala ng mga anak natin. 
uh, 10 years from now. Kaya pick your battles kapag sa homeschooling, eto bang pinag-aawayan namin? Worth it ba to 10 years from now? If it's not, then you know, just let it go. Because there are some things that hindi naman nagmamatter 10 years from now. So, uh, pick your battles. And then also, meron akong andito. <laughs> Make sure that you plan. Because if you don't plan, sayang. Masasayang yung one school year natin. Let's be deliberate in, in teaching our children. Um, and making this whole year ano, um, tawag nito, worthwhile for them. At saka maganda sana if, um, although we, I encourage you to plan, don't be too, ano naman, parang give, 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 uh, tawag nito, leeway naman pag sa mga may mga times na hindi masusunod yung plano na yun. Let, may mga moments kasi that the Lord will tell you na, ah, hindi na yan ang gagawin mo. And I don't think this would work. So, you know, be in sync with the Holy Spirit so that you'll be able to to move along dito sa homeschooling journey. It's not gonna be very easy, but it's gonna be worth it. Sobrang worth it siya because of the relationship that you'll have with your child or children. Ibang-iba. Ibang-iba para sa akin. And um, yun lang, yun lang. Be healthy. Organize. <laughs> Sorry, organize pa pala. Kasi uh, maganda din sana if the place that your child is studying in Ano sana, conducive sana for study. Para naman, ano, para ma-feel ng bata na meron siyang space dito. Tsaka routine also is very important, ha? Kasi napansin ko mong sa, uh, may child thrives kapag may routine siya. Alam niya yung gagawin niya mula pag-gising hanggang sa pag So, hindi masyadong shaken yung araw niya kapag, ano, kapag, wala siya yung mga tulala moments na ano kayong gagawin ko pag Wala naman siyang ganun. So, yun, yun <laughs> Nakakatuwa ka. I like that tulala moment. Pero sometimes, Ay, kailangan din natin yung tulala moment, ha? Kailangan mo rin mag-schedule <laughs> mo rin yun po tulala. Pero totoo yun, I really agree with you. In homeschooling kasi, we need to, I believe we need to give grace to each other. Especially um, in such a way na, yung sinasayo mo kanina, being grace is being flexible. Not like now, the pandemic that we have, I'm sure lahat ng plans natin nasira. Oh. I mean, so yung nagpa-plan siguro na, uy, siguro mag-travel tayo ng ganito or punta tayo sa ganyan. Lahat yun na-wipe out because of this pandemic. But yun nga, while ago, I was telling to you nga na, maybe this pandemic is really a blessing in disguise. And it could be really exercise more of our relationship with our family. And yeah. specifically, if you choose to homeschool, mas lalo pang ma-exercise yun. Kasi, yun nga eh. Kasi, you're not only gonna do all of those routines, but, you know, you're gonna teach them as well. So, madaming mangyayari. So, thank you. Thank you so much, Amor, for sharing. But, if you, do you have anything to say ba about the single parents there? Or the people who wants to adopt? If they're scared. Ah! I really admire, no? Maybe I'm not, I'm not sure. Hindi naman ganon yung platform ko. But uh, I come to think of it when you were talking, no? Kasi grabe lang that God has given you that opportunity to have that compassion to that child, and now you love him as your own. Yes. And there's a lot of kids there who really need help, especially in this time. So if you have that kind of message, and also to the single parents and for people who are scared to adopt, but you know God is calling them to adopt. Okay. Sa akin siguro, ano, um, if God is calling you to adopt, then go for it. Because if it's God's will, it's gonna be His will. The provision will be there. Um, the protection will be there. So, if God calls you to do that, then go. Kasi every time that you delay it, every day na nade-delay siya, it's another day you're aware from the child that God has prepared for you. Sayang yung time. Time is, ano the essence here kapag nag-plinano natin adoption. And also, for the single um, women or men na gusto mag-adopt, okay lang naman if you're single to adopt. Because, um, noong una kasi may worry was, naku, walang tatay, anak po, ganyan, ganyan. Pero, you know, the Lord, the Lord is so amazing on how He orchestrated everything for my son. There are so many men from church who 
who you know um hindi naman sila naging ano talaga naging involved sa pagpapalaki pero when when ano when my when they're with my son uh, makikita ko nakikita ko on how they treat my son nagiging example sila sa anak ko kung paano ba magiging tunay na lalaki mga ganyan yung mga how to be a gentleman ganyan so um there are so many ways that the lord can help you in in taking care of you and your child Tapos, um, at the same time, if you're called to adapt, tapos um, yung process, wala pa naman, then financially prepare for it as well. Because although the Lord will provide, it's very important also that we'll be good stewards of our money. So, um, well, wala pa yung child, and then save money for that. Kasi magastos magkaanak, syempre. <laughs> Hindi naman biro yung kakainin nila, yung damit nila, everything. There's there's a cost for that. So, be, be responsible for it. Be be deliberate in budgeting so there so yun for that for homeschooling naman um if god calls you to homeschool it will be scary it will not be easy uh, there will be challenges lalo na if the child comes from the regular school syempre my compare ka nung ano diba nung anak mo sa teacher why are you doing this my teacher's not doing that you're so strict or whatever pero um for me lang um, maybe take this time also to get to know each other. Your, yung kayo ng anak niyo. Tapos, um, wag mo na mag-focus sa academics. I, I guess um, you can take your time a few weeks or months after, and then just focus on the relationship, the values that you want to teach your children. Character, character formation, very important yun. Kasi kahit naman gano katalino or gano karami alam ng bata is wala naman dun yung character pa sayang diba so there thank you thank you so much oh do you have questions bago mali si amor do you have any questions our dear audience please let us know yes. para ma-maximize natin yung time with amor wala naman ooh silent sila dami <laughs> Okay. Wow, I thank you so much for inviting me for the opportunity to share my son's story. Thank you. Yeah, your story. Yeah, thank you so much. Sana nga makita ko si Moses kaya ang shy na siguro siya. <laughs> Tagal ko na siya hindi mo nakikita. Oh, hey, hey, yes. Yeah, Destiny said hi too. Thank you. Oh, Moses, Destiny said hi now. <laughs> okay, kung wala na pong questions. Okay, please follow Amor in her in her Facebook and in her IG account. Can you post that? Yeah, social media, which is at MSPABR and also yes. Facebook, Miss PABR or makikita nyo, Love Rebibis. So, if you want to, <laughs> para makalimutan nyo, pwede nyo siyang i-message. Okay? Yes. Regarding how to homeschool, okay, yes. as a single parent. Okay. Hi, ah, ito pala po, Etel, may pahabol. I have oh. a hard time looking for a type of homeschool suitable for me and my in my location. Any advice now? Homeschool like ano? Like siguro uh, provider to provider. Oh, provider. Well, there are so many homeschool providers here in Manila that are open to be enrolled online. Ang alam ko ha, may ganun si may mga ganun. And then um, if if you're okay with I don't know provider outside US if it's cheap uh, outside Philippines then better than Home Life Academy um, it's cheaper for me ha that's the, for me it's cheaper and it's bagay siya sa klase ng homeschooling meron kami ng anak ko so I guess bef before thinking of the provider para sa akin think muna of what kind of homeschooling atmosphere you would want to have. Kasi I dapat ang nag-a-adjust si provider, hindi si... Ay, so, yeah, dapat nag-a-adjust si provider sa atin. Not the provide, tayo sa provide. Yeah. I agree with that, Ethel. Tama yung sinabi ni Amor, no? Kasi yung provider, actually yun na yung pinaka-last, ano mo yun, last decision-making process that you can decide. Kasi kahit gaano kakalayo, you have also to consider your budget. Kasi... Um, some some people would would like to invest on resources rather than just paying the accreditation fee, di ba, Amor? So, mm -hmm. si Amor siya, pinili niya talaga to invest more of her resources because she's, she's a single mom and she wants to invest more of kung ano yung talagang kailangan ni, ni, ni Moses. 
and provider is the least of her kumbaga is worries and if you think like i think diba ang home life diba sabi mo kanina para 100 plus lang or yes. less than 100 plus mm -hmm. so you have to consider that as well kasi kahit malayo ah sabi niya may full time job me is it okay kung after office work ko na lang siya i-guide sa academics yun yung pala yung gusto ko itanong sa iyo dan na kanina yung have you tried doing night shift of teaching ano Moises um oh Oh, do you mean like sa gabi ko siya tuturo, hapon ko oh. siya tuturo? Yes, oh. oo, oo, ginawa ko rin yun. Um, nagkaroon ako ng client before na I have to work the whole day. So, hapon ko siya gagawin. So, okay na ba? Nag-work naman siya. As long as may routine, mag-work naman yun. And kids can adapt easily. Hindi naman sila yung magagalit sa'yo na ayaw ko na hapon na hindi na akong gaaral. Kaya <laughs> mag-aaral siya ka the whole day, you could also give them something else to do. So, alimbawa, um, there are activities or... Uh, worksheets that you could give your kids and then sabihin mo na oh, later pag tapos ko magtrabaho i-check ko siya and then we can go through it together um again also just want to remind the ano yung mga incoming homeschooling parents na the goal of homeschooling also one of the goals of homeschooling is to yung mat matutunan nila na mahalin nila yung learning love of learning kasi para pag tumatanda na sila they would do it on their own na. They would love to do the research. They would love to read books. Yung mga ganon. Para habang tumatanda sila, hindi na, wala na sa shoulder ninyo yung everything. Na, oh, kailangan ko lang ko pag magturo sa anak ko. When they can do it naman on their own. Kasi nga yung edad ni Moses, nung mga grade 5, 6, 7, yan. Naiiwanan ko na siya sa mga ibang bagay. So, I don't spend as much time na with him. Okay. So, may pahabol na question. So, eto, I hope we answered your question. Pero, depending din siguro sa edad nung anak niya, eh, no? Ay, oh, kung, kung pwede na iwan or hindi. Yes, One of the yes. things that I've learned, some of my friends na homeschool mom, you could be able to also ask some of the relatives to help you out kung may time para makabantay on that end. But, this is the next question. I think this will be the last. So, you mentioned about your mom. Does she or or the other family take part in your um, homeschooling your son? Oh, yes. Oo. Nung kasama pa kami sa bahay, kasama ko yung mga kapatid ko, my, my second sister is an artist, so she's in charge sa arts. Tapos, so, she loves also history, yung kapatid ko. Uh, magaling mag-storytelling mag yung second sister ko. So, pagdating sa history, ang galing niya. So, umingi ako ng tulong sa kanya doon. Tsaka sa Filipino, yun, sa kanya ako humingi ng tulong. So, um, yes, may support ako nakuha noong time na I'm with my family. Tapos, um, mom ko, nagturo for a while. Kaya lang kasi medyo may edad na yung mom ko, so hindi ko na siya masyadong <laughs> inihinga ng time for that. Pero mostly my sisters, yun. Sila dalawa yung kapatid kong punso din. Kapag oh, nakalagay, Pia, re, re, be, be. Si Pia, oh, sabi mo, yeah, oh, we do help out with her. <laughs> Thank you, Pia. Thank you so much, Pia. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Sorry, habol ko lang. Talagang we were involved even for the discipline part. Madami. Kasi pag single mom ka, diba, you would want to get as much help as possible. So don't be shy to ask for help also. So kapag may mga resumes, kailangan kong puntaan and I don't have anyone and so yung mga kapatid ko will rescue me. <laughs> yeah. Si Pia Padera, say hi! The hi, teacher Pia! Pia. Thank you so much. Yeah, Ethel, thank you so much for that. So, okay yan. Yeah. Kaya niya yung homeschool, you can do that. Thank you Kaya so Pia. much, Amor. Thank you so much for gracing our show. At thank alam you all. At alam ko lang natutunan on that end. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. So, I will see you later. I'm gonna just wrap it up. Okay, ang galing. Isang oras tayo. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, grabe. Ang dami nating natutunan, no? Kay Amor. And I just want to encourage everyone. What I've learned, and if I'm gonna, you know, encapsulate all that we have learned from her. Lagi niya sinasabi yun, eh. Yun, we, we cannot do this alone. So, I think we should never, you know, be afraid in asking for help. And I just want to encourage also the parents na, yeah, you are not alone in this journey. You are not alone in this journey. First, you have a God who will go with you through this journey. Um, nakakatuwa lang kasi yung, yung 
what I've learned from her dahil adapting Moses niya. Tayo rin, inadapt tayo ni God, di ba? Na hindi siya nagdalawang isip na i-adapt tayo and um, to be able to really go whatever journey that we have here, tinrato niya tayong parang totoo niyang anak. And that's how it goes. And I thank you for Amor for modeling that to us as well. Thank you so much. So parents who are single parents there, please, you are not alone. Madami tayong support groups. Madami tayong um, pwedeng puntahan. And wag po nat, wag tayong, wag natin pigilan sarili natin kung kailangan natin ng tulong, tayo po ay mag-ask ng tulong. Dahil sobra pong importante ang support group. Okay? Marami pong salamat sa lahat ng nakinig. So if you think it is, this is valuable to other parents, especially for those who are single parents, please share this post. And, okay, I'm just gonna announce certain things. Thank you so much. Okay, ito po sa Frint Week, frequently asked questions natin. Nakapin po ito sa tapat ng aking, uh, sa aking uh, iHomeschool uh, Facebook page. So, lahat po ng topics namin, nagay po namin dito. So, if you think hindi nyo napanood, okay, just go to this link, yung frequently asked questions. So, lagi po yan nasa taas. And then, Kung, kasi minsan yung Facebook, naging under to mga conversation. So, we decided to put it po in our YouTube account. So, please check on that. Also, I'm so excited dahil po every Tuesday and Friday po tayo. This coming Friday, my guest is Laxmi Maluya. Okay. Laxmi Maluya. She's one of the great uh, also leaders in our homeschool movement. And the title of our topic is Living, Learning, the Homeschool Life. Okay, madami po kami kwentuhan. Sobra po ako excited uh, this coming Friday with Ati Laxmi Maluya. So she owns the Dogopalo uh, Learning Haven. So please uh, join us this coming Friday. 8 p.m. din po. Okay, what else is our announcement, Hazel? Okay. Oh, okay. Ito po, we'll continue to remind you if you think we are valuable to you, please follow us in our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube accounts. And we also have a Viber account. Kasi usually, doon po ako nagbibigay ng mga freebies and ng mga latest about DepEd. So please go there. It's a big community na. I think 100 plus na kami doon. So very exciting. Madami po kami exchange of information na nangyayari doon. So please join our Viber page. Later, Hazel, please put the link, okay? Also, if you think you want to know and uh, learn more about our homeschooling, okay, please buy my book, I Homeschool, How to Do It Without Losing Your Mind. You can buy physical book or we can also do it in digital if you don't like the physical book. 500 pesos po yan. So, if you get digital or you get uh, the physical book, you have a free organizer which is i did it that for um student organizer and the teacher organizer so libre po yan pag kinuha niyo po okay okay sa so homeschooling grabe lang ano sabi ko nga kanina lahat po na naging guest po namin dito madami akong natututunan specifically this angle no about adoption and being a single parent on how to homeschool your child. It's really refreshing. Thank you, Amor. But lagi lang po nating tatandaan po talaga in homeschooling. Okay? Relationship is more important than academics. Ako po si Novi and Tan, ang inyong homeschool coach, and I homeschool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys, for being patient with us with all our technicalities. Thank you so much. Bye for now. See you on Friday.